morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday. It's Non Farms. It's Canadian Non Farms. It's the 6th of November. Um, got some other things to do this morning, so I'll just make this real quick. Dollar yen, uh, interesting. Uh, close, bearish, bang. Let's talk about this. Uh, this is a this is a classic. Um, where is that bar? Uh, this one, 104. Here we go. So if we trade down to 95, um, 103.95, and then up to 38. What happens here? Um, you know, big hedge fund sells uh, four or five hundred through the figure. Um, leaves a 30 point stop, so leaves a 104.30 stop, immediately gets done. So you're 95 given, 38 paid, everyone's fucked. If you survived that and had your core short on and were nimble enough to cut as it broke the figure, broke back up, second time through uh, was a great place to add um, 103.95. Never saw it again. Been down to 36, course short is the way, dollar yen. Um, this looks like uh, we're going to head down to 102, right? So we got another 150 points on this move, maybe down to here, uh, 101. So try and be core short, um, dollar yen, or core short, dollar yen here, and Aussie yen. Um, Aussie yen hasn't even turned yet. We just feel like this is going to go risk off. Um, and so we've added a little Aussie yen on the close yesterday. Up near 50. Um, we know it's an easy cut. You, you're going to cut this above 75.50. Uh, um, but we're short Aussie yen, Kiwi yen, dollar max yesterday. You all saw it through 90 um, and then through 84, the bingo number. Uh, worked out pretty well. We're square now again, uh, dollar max. Um, but you can sell high ones in dollar max, I think. Um, might be, now that I've said that out loud, I don't like selling high ones in dollar max today. We're square. Um, not really sure what's going to happen in dollar max today. Euro popped all the way up to 60. These highs at 80 are real important. Um, there's another high here at 16. Uh, that's important. We'll see how this goes. Um, Euro tends to uh, disappoint, shall we say? Who, raise your hand if you've been disappointed by Euro in the last few years. It's not the trendiest motherfucker, right? Just kind of... When it goes on a trendy business like this here, um, sort of 111 to 118, it's great. But then it goes in this range mode. We've been in range mode since July. Um, so be careful with Euro. Um, you know, this is trading basically. Uh, weaker dollar but I'm not sure this chart's much more interesting 131.70 um, close to a triple top yesterday's high was 54 um, this has this looks like it wants to go cable so maybe this is your horse today if you want to be short dollars I mean dollar yen's your horse but if you want to add something tactically, it's an interesting level up there, 131.70. And um, the most interesting chart is, is dollar CAD now. It's kind of like dollar mix. You had this crazy bar here. Um, we've punched up higher. This is a super key low, 130 the figure. And if you really want to drill down, it's actually 129.94. Um, <laughs> you could draw this isn't super helpful on a tactical book but this gives you an idea of what's going to be happening here this is like some monster head and shoulders um, you know 
with a 27 big figure sort of value neckline whatever um, this comes in at 130.11 might be a touch uh, tricky I would say just get this short this now because this is definitely probably going to attack this level at some point but it's too risky where's your stop I don't know um, but keep an eye on this a lot of people are talking about this 129.94 level and now you can see we've drawn this as 130.03 130.04 um, could be some magic down there gold we talked about it yesterday we did not get long bang um, it just ripped gold looks pretty robust we did not buy any yesterday because that makes us less robust Spoos ridiculous day we talked about the hundred the hundred um, handle moves we got like 80 from the lows 134 35 up to 135 23 90 handles um, now we've retraced I haven't even looked at the news I'm a bit of a rush this morning um, I don't know what's happening out there let's see let's see what the Wall Street Journal says anyway I don't know why we're back here it makes a little bit of sense to me because um, you know we were just so stretched right I mean Biden still at 264. We still haven't figured this out. Trump has to win Pennsylvania, Georgia, North Carolina, Nevada still. Um, anyway, interesting pullback. I think this has further to go down, actually. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, ZB also did a bit of a turn, finally. That's an interesting bar there if you're thinking about turns. Price is down through 73.31, and this sucker goes right back down. Um, been real tough to trade ZB. Gave away a lot of profit on that, that green bar. Man, a little bit scarred. Um, go see my uh, fixed income psychologist. She can slap me around a bit. Um, In the trading world, we have, you know, currency psychologists, fixed income psychologists, future psychologists. Um, anyway, babbling. Not much else to say here. We got non-farms and, and CAD employment. This is the most important stuff. Um, we're watching this election news and business. The risk is that we've gotten too far out ahead of our skis on on stocks and everyone's like ooh, look at Biden he's gonna cross the aisle with McConnell and they're gonna make sweet legislative love uh, I don't know 10% uh, uh, stock market move in three days you know opening up a sausage making factory in Washington this isn't really like incredibly new news to me so I could see equities turn here, um, but our main focus is staying short dollar yen. You want to sell high ones, and we're reflecting our risk off bias by shorting Aussie yen, uh, latching our tra our train onto perhaps a little bit of risk off. I don't know what this bar was here. We got down to the figure it went 96 last night, um, but. And then we'll have to just see how these numbers go. Um, the CAD, dollar CAD chart is also worth watching at 2.30 today over the numbers. All right, listen, I've said enough. Uh, you can see I got other shit on my mind today. I will uh, wish you guys a good trading day ahead, and I'll catch you on uh, Monday. Have a good weekend, people. Ciao.